<laughs> how about Bria Elmore? You know, the crazy thing about it is we we know how capable Bria is, and sometimes um, getting her motor going um, has been a bit of a challenge for her. But um, and I thought even sometime in this in sometimes in this game, I thought she got a little passy. But but I'm going to say this again, and this is true: we are still. These kids are still figuring out yeah. what it feels like to have to carry the load. And I saw some of them today wanting to hang in the background a little bit. And we can't afford to do that because we don't have anybody else to, to put out there. So she was she was brilliant um, at the times she needed to be. And I thought Cheyenne Creighton got tough on the boards. Of course, we were, we were up by 10, and then I think we went down by three maybe. It was a 17-2 run, I believe, yeah. if my math was right on the sideline. And we just got – we just got to a point in our zone where we wouldn't guard the baseline drive. And and then we got we fouled them. And, of course, then we turned it over and, and gave it to them a little bit. And, and then, of course, we sent them into the bonus very, very early. But I uh, I felt like I was co coaching a bunch of mutes tonight because <laughs> I, I didn't know what the play calls were. I didn't know what the press offenses were. Now, I hope they did. I'm going to have to have a conversation with them about that because – we very clearly use hand signals and verbal communication, and I didn't see a bunch of that out there tonight. But, you know, I, I don't want to say that we were nervous or tight, but we might have been nervous and tight um, with this group that is still trying to figure out, you know, what their roles are and who's going to step up at the right time. But Bria Elmore stepped up huge today. What you have, 25? Yeah, career high, 25. 25 today. And then I also thought Cheyenne Creighton, we had to go little. We did not want yeah. to go little against this team. But uh, we had to put Taylor uh, Williams at the four to kind of to keep us uh, garden penetration on the baseline and to have a little bit of savvy out there. And uh, we we finished the game banged up again. I'm I'm pretty certain Taylor's um, shoulder's going to be really sore tomorrow, yeah. and I'm pretty sure that Bria Water Cochran's head's going to be really sore. <laughs> you know, at the timeout, I was pretty animated, but I just kept saying, "Why are we in panic mode? Calm down, do what we do, put the ball in the right places." And, and she did, and she hit two big shots. But, um, but Bria Elmore did a really nice job. Um, but, but the block by Cheyenne Creighton probably was the game saver because that kid got all the way to the block. All right, Coach, you got five days off from no games. I know you guys will have, to have a mandatory off, uh, off day probably in there, but then uh, you'll be back in practice before you hit Cincinnati uh, next week. Jamal Elliott's done a nice job. and I know it's probably been frustrating for Jamal up there trying to get it going again, but this year's been the, the turnaround. They're 10-5, and 1-1 in the league. It, it looks like that corner's been turned. Right. That, well, they have their point guard back, Anna Owens, and they've added a couple uh, uh, new players, one junior college player, that, that are really making a difference. And they're competing, and they're tougher, and they're, and they're deeper than they have been. So um, it's uh, – I don't know much about them yet. I have I have seen some videotape on them, particularly the game against UCF. But uh, they're they're uh, Anna Owens is in and of itself. She's hard enough to handle. But if yeah. she's got another player or two around her, then then they're going to be able to go, which which they have uh, proven that they're ready.